G'day guys, I've just completed another uh, Sega Genesis project. Um, this time uh, it's got all the mods I typically do, which is the 50 and 60 uh, hertz and the language, Japanese and English, as well as the color correction uh, and also the, the com composite jacks at the back. Um, in addition to this one, I've added a overclock to it, uh, so which greatly enhances the game. Um, it makes them a hell of a lot more enjoyable. Um, it, reduces the slowdown effect that that you might get when you in some games where there's too many sprites on the screen at one time and the CPU can't um, keep up with all the instructions so I've added a 10 megahertz oscillator to, to this console so you can switch between the original 7.6 megahertz and 10 megahertz probably doesn't seem like a lot 2.4 uh, megahertz but um, it is certainly noticeable in, in um, situations like in Sonic when um, you know, you get hit by an enemy or you uh, accidentally go on a spike and and uh, you lose all your rings and you'll notice a, a real slowdown or there's just um, when you're in two-player mode and the game just goes really slow. Um, that, this 10 megahertz crystal minimizes that a great deal uh, and it also um, increases the frame rate in a lot of games. So it is a very, very good mod to have. So I'll... Um, so I've got that, that's the, um, the overclock switch there. I didn't install a halt switch, so which means is if you wanted to play this uh, in either the 7.6 or the 10 megahertz, um, you need to just select that at the start because if you were to change it on the fly, um, the system would freeze and you'd have to press on the restart button or the... Um, or the power button to start it up again. So, but you know, it's in. My, I think that most people would want to play it the overclock. But anyway, uh, so I've also installed a dual color LED uh, to give the person the uh, visual that if it's an overclock or um, the normal 7.6. I've gone a red and green LED. So the red red LED is a stock 7.6 megahertz. And the green, the reason why I chose that is because the um, the Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis standard LED is red. So, and green is the overclock. So I'll show you, if I press the power button, obviously you can see the red light, so you know that's 7.6. If I wanted to change it over to, um, turn it off, if you wanted to change it over to the 10 megahertz, switch goes up, green. So I'll show you. Let's start the game here. This is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I'm going to start in the overclock mode. Excuse all this mess, I've got kids around, so it's always fun cleaning up. Looks really nice. Some games you're not going to notice any difference. Um, other games you're going to notice a dramatic difference. Switch them over to 50 hertz if choose be. 50 hertz! Uh, I've had a, a huge amount of issues getting the the color, the picture just perfect on 50 hertz, and it's it's to a stage where it's acceptable, but um, it's nowhere near as good as the 60 hertz. I can't imagine many people wanting to play games at 50 hertz because it is a huge degraded experience, game experience because you've got the borders at the top and it runs a fair bit slower. Um, but as you can see, you've got color here in in 50 hertz via composite. 60 hertz is actually using the, the stock uh, color burst, so uh, what the console came with, so that looks the best. And of course it, it plays a hell of a lot better at 60 hertz. Um, you'll be able to play your PAL games at 60 hertz as well with this console. Um, to do so, it's quite easy. Um, all games made before 1993, or 1993 and before, um, they will just work on this Genesis. However, if you have a game made after that time, um, there's a high chance that, that it could be locked. And with this console, you can get around that by first starting to get the uh, console in 50 hertz. So let's let's just assume this one here is a has got copy protection. It doesn't, but let's just assume it does. So you start it off um, in 50 hertz. And once you get to the SIG or the SEGA or however you want to pronounce it, uh, logo, you can just flick them over to 60 hertz 
and as I said, the picture looks a, a mile better than 50 hertz. Back to 50 hertz if if you really want to. Some te some TVs um, may only accept 50 hertz, but there'd be very very old TV if that was the case. Anyway, um, I will be selling this unit. Um, as you, there are some cosmetic scratches on here, uh, but it is a bloody good system as far as if you just want to play your games. It's, it's possibly about as good as you can get for a um, Sega um, Mega Drive 2, uh, seeing as though you've got the overclock. Um, also, I'd like to point out this one here has the, the best video encoder for the uh, Mega Drive Model 2, which is the Sony video encoder. So um, a lot of the other video encoders actually uh, degrade the picture a fair bit. I believe the Samsung is probably the worst because uh, you get what's called jail bars on the TV. Um, and there's also an Ericsson one, I believe, which is, it's okay. It's better than the Samsung. Uh, I find the colors a bit dark, but um, it's definitely a step up from the Samsung. But as I said, this is probably as best as good as you're going to get for a Sega Mega Drive 2 um, as far as picture wise um, the sound on on these systems I think are fine they do, they do a stereo sound um, you know there's a lot of talk uh, and I believe this is the case as well that the the first edition of the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive with the one that says high definition graphics produces a much superior sound um, but you know like if you wanted to this this unit here, it's about as good as you're going to get. There are mods you can do to it to improve the sound, but um, it's quite expensive and very time consuming. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how well this is going to come across, but the colours are very vibrant. With the Sony video encoder, it is... There's no jail bars. Uh, that They're the lines that go down. So the lines that go down. Uh, with the uh, so, uh, sorry, with the Samsung video encoder, they're very present, but on this one, it's amazing. It's currently in overclock mode at this moment. So there, there are some there are some games, and I encourage people to look into like just do some internet searches to find there are some games that do have issues running at the higher megahertz um, but there's very few and of course this console has the option to, to flick back to the stock 7.6 megahertz all right sorry to um, drag this video out too long but I just wanted to give this system a good demonstration all right thank you guys bye